Here's another homemade digital clock, but unlike the other ones I've been showing you guys recently, this one was built by me. I finished building it just a couple days ago, but I had actually started back in 2019, and after I got the board itself built, I just kind of ended up putting it aside because I didn't have a suitable case to install it in. But I recently picked up this 1970s vintage metal project box, and it turned out to be the perfect size to house this clock. So I decided I would finish up that old project. Although the end result is not perfect by any means, I'm still pretty happy with it. And I'd say I did a fairly good job considering I was working with only hand tools for drilling all the holes and cutting the acrylic and even the sheet metal itself. The controls of this clock are fairly simple because it uses the classic MM5314N clock chip, which was a very popular choice for building kit clocks and homebrew clocks back in the 1970s. The most popular choice, really. So the controls here are 12 and 24 hour, and when I switch to 24 hour mode, you'll see the leading zero light up there. And the clock will roll over at 2359.59 instead of 1259.59. The other controls here are the fast set, slow set, and hold. The fast set button rapidly advances the minutes and holds the seconds. And the slow set button rapidly advances the seconds. The hold button just stops the clock from advancing. And that's really all there is to it. It's a pretty simple clock, but hopefully it should be a fairly reliable one. I'm going to unplug it and open up the cover here so you guys can see the inside. Because it's built into a project box, it comes apart pretty easily. You just have to take out the two screws on either side. And then this cover here just lifts right off. There's not a whole lot in here in terms of material, so it's actually quite light without the steel cover on it. I may eventually install a 9 volt transformer and a fuse inside the case, just because very few early digital clocks used wall warts. They generally used an internal transformer, although there were some that did use wall warts. As I mentioned before, this clock is based around the MM5314N clock chip. This one has a date code of 405, which is the fifth week of 1974. So it's a pretty early clock chip. As you can see, everything is hand wired, even the display board, which was a bit of a pain in the neck. You can see how many jumper wires there are. This clock is multiplexed, so these transistors here drive the segments, and these transistors here select the digit being driven. The circuit design is based off of the data sheet for this clock chip. And if you want to build your own clock around one of these chips, that's a very good place to start. It lays out most of what you need to know. I didn't have any 1970s vintage switches to use at the time, so these are more modern Radio Shack ones. But from the outside, I'd say they look pretty period correct. And they are good quality units, so they should last a long time. I had a bit of a tricky time cutting the acrylic, but I did manage a nice result. The third try was the charm, in this case. The two previous attempts caused the acrylic to crack, unfortunately. This material is fairly brittle. You have to be careful cutting it. Well, that's all there is to show on this thing. Thanks for watching.